Hello, this is day 120 of the intense journey. I just got out the shower, had an amazing day. Um, this is still another one of those weeks where really did not um, post a lot. And I know that my commitment is to do this puppy every day. I had an allergic reaction to something and wound up taking some medication, but I am fine. I am totally, totally fine. But you know, like with medication, you don't feel like yourself. And then what's weird is that um, because it was an allergic reaction and it was kind of severe, they actually gave me a steroid. So I started feeling some kind of way because, you know, your girl's been working really hard on her goals and I started retaining water and feeling puffy. So I kind of felt not cool, not good. So, yeah. Just feeling some kind of way about that. But I'm good now because I know that that's medication. Um, I have been wholeheartedly vegan for the last, actually four days, I believe it is. Four or five days. Like, no BS. Straight up vegan. So, I'm feeling good about that. Uh, and obviously, I'm not going to be vegan for the rest of my life. That's just not my jam. But I do want to do it for a good six months just because I feel with this antibiotic with me getting, you know, sick or getting, you know, this allergic reaction, uh, which I think has something to do with me consuming some dairy and some gluten because I've had that most, well, for the most part, out of my diet, except for every once in a while, but more so um, if you follow me within the last month or so. So I think that I just had a bad reaction to something. Don't really know exactly what it was, but this journey is about being transparent and it's about getting healthy and it's about taking care of myself, taking care of my body, taking care of my company, taking care of my life. And part of that is knowing when it's time to make a dramatic shift. And I've got to make a dramatic shift in, like I've already shifted. Like if you follow me on this journey, I've already shifted and I eat cleaner and I'm better and all that kind of stuff. But I think because I'm so close to like tasting exactly what I want my life to look like, meaning like as far as the fitness is concerned, relationship wise, I've got a great relationship. I've got an amazing husband, got amazing kids. Uh, my company is doing well. Anything that we're working on in the company that needs to be better, I'm already working on those things. But my body is something that has been just a work in progress. And so I feel like I'm close to seeing where it's going to be. Like I can visualize it. And know that it's going to happen, which is totally different than me just looking at the picture and go, oh, you know, one of my pictures from back in the day is different from me looking at that picture and go, oh, that's what I want to look like again, as opposed to me having the image like that. I can actually see the image. It's not just the image on paper, but it's the image in my head that I can see myself becoming. And that is starting to come to fruition. So I feel good about that because I really believe that if I can see it in my head, I can make it happen in reality. And so, um, making this drastic change and wanting to really focus harder than I've ever focused on this is important to me. And I want to share that with you. And that's why I call this the intense journey, the next 90, because I really wanted to take this next 90 days and really just knock it out the box. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I appreciate you being on this journey with me. So yeah, ready to knock it out the box, knock it out the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I am feeling better. Uh, I will admit once again that I did not post because I felt puffy and I felt just, I started feeling better with the medication, but it made me feel puffy. And I started making me thinking weird, start thinking weird things about my weight, but I had to realize and be smart about this. I was taking medication to make myself better because I had a bad reaction. And just because I was retaining water did not mean that I was doing something wrong in my diet. I was taking a medication that was making me retain water, but because I am so paranoid about going back in the other direction, I didn't feel good um, about myself because I started seeing this puffiness, but um, I'm feeling better now because I talked myself through it. Sometimes you have to have a real talk with yourself and be like, listen, this is crazy. You're taking care of yourself. You're taking care of your body. You're taking medicine because you need to get better. And this is one of the side effects and it's okay. Just Keep doing what you're supposed to be doing, eating healthy and making good choices and loving your family and loving your babies and loving your company and loving your team members and just quit tripping. So that's where I'm at. I just had to stop tripping. All right.
All right, y'all have a good one. And um, you go knock it out the box too. All right, bye-bye.